Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. Yep, back in the shop. Uh, no, it's not raining, but it's muggy and hot like the middle of summer and it's almost fall. So today I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth uh, what I've done with my paint booth. So you'll notice that I had the luxury to building this in when I built this, this part of the building. Uh, so I was able to sort of make a little cubby and then on the other side of this wall over here to this side is a outside closet that houses the uh, compressor. So you'll notice that on, on a space like this the, the most wasted volume of space is up in the corners because you're going to work right in here. So what I did I, I put in some of these little handmade really lightweight very simple shallow shelves. Uh, they're not very long they're about 22 inches long and I put one in over here. Uh, that houses all my paint and then I've got my bulk paint up here and then these smaller bottles. Um, I also have a magnet strip here and that's for all the, like cleaning gear, brushes for cleaning, little clips. Notice that I put in outlets on both sides mostly for chargers that sort of thing. But on occasion I plug in some additional lighting if I need uh, to really light something really well. Here's a little poor man's um, airbrush clean out chamber. Uh, I just pour ported it with a bunch of holes, put a piece of paper towel in it, pop that back on there. I got a hole in it for the airbrush. Here's another little thing I really like. Uh, this is an inch and a half PVC coupler and I just cut a slot in it and screwed it onto there. This way I can just drop this on there, and pull it out, use it when I want to and drop it right back in. PVC is such a nice easy thing to work with. Here's a little PVC airbrush holder. I just got a couple offsets, got a smaller hole back there and a little hole to hold this thing. Here's the plumbing. Uh, huh, I guess it's a little bit convoluted. Uh, I've got air coming in from the other side through this pipe, uh, coming in to my, my dryer, water separator, um, slash regulator, and then going back down here to another dryer, and here's my... Uh, my gauge now I'm proud of this gauge it's super refined I got it uh, from a university I was selling a bunch of stuff and I can really set my pressure exactly where I want it comes in really handy when I'm uh, spraying that silver this little valve here is a volume regulator uh, allows me to fine-tune the amount of air coming through one of my favorite innovations that I did in here was this paper roll now this is just contractor paper and I've got it on a little a uh, little aluminum rod. You can just use a dowel. And see, all I did was take a little L bracket I had laying around, a piece of aluminum. You could you could use hard plastic or uh, some steel. And I just cut a groove, and I cut a groove on each end. It allows me to have this background paper to protect the wall, protect the the countertop, and gives me a little surface to practice, clear my gun. This roll is actually comes too long. I believe it comes uh, 36 inches and that's a little too wide for my space here. So I end up taking this over to the radial arm saw and cutting about five inches off it. Let me show you what I do with it. So this is the leftovers and you can see I just made another little support. This is kind of like a robot toilet paper I guess. It's just heavy duty, looks like a roll of toilet paper. I just made like a little bracket with a cutting edge uh, from some old hurricane uh, straps that I had left over from when I built the house. So as the paper comes down the wall, it, there's just a metal rod here. And then on this edge, this is just a piece of uh, metal I took, out of a, I took out of a filing cabinet. It's one of those file dividers. So what I do when this is all dirty and filled up, with uh, sketches and drawings and, and spills. I'll go ahead and just pull this out. And then I take a razor knife right along the back of this metal. And, and then I'm pretty much set after that. I, I'm good for quite a while. Okay, let's take a look at the lights and the extractor. These are your typical 4-inch can lights, and these are LED, so they're low heat. They're also low UV, which is really important for some of the stuff I do. These little lights up here, I got at uh, Ikea. They're like 7 bucks for this set. 
This is a Braun 8 inch extractor, 200 cubic feet per minute. This thing will take about two minutes to empty out this room. They completely change out the air in this room. So I also utilize the space underneath. All I need is a little knee space for so I can sit in here for a bunch of my camera equipment, tripod, old lenses. So I hope this was helpful to some of you. I uh, hope it gave you some ideas. Maybe you can refine your area a little bit. I certainly got a lot of ideas from some of the stuff I saw posted. Thanks for watching. Hopefully next time we'll actually be baking something. Catch you on the next one.